40,000 years ago, survival wasn't just a struggle, it was a battle fought with bare hands and brute strength. Neanderthals, the Ice Age's rugged survivors, thrived in some of the harshest environments the Earth has ever seen. Their bodies were built for power, their bones denser, and their muscles thicker than anything we'd recognize today. But what really fueled this astonishing strength? Today, we're uncovering the truth about their raw power from their genetics to the lives they led. A story of resilience, survival, and a strength that, in many ways, still lives on in us. In the depths of prehistory, Ice Age Europe was a land shaped by cold, shadowed by glaciers, and ruled by relentless winter. This world was a crucible and environment that demanded unbreakable resilience. Here, Neanderthals emerged as masters of survival, their lives forged by extremes. As temperatures plummeted and resources waned, strength became their most valuable asset. These were people who thrived where few others could, where their physical power and adaptability weren't just advantages they were necessary for life. A world so stark and unforgiving that even the briefest summers could barely ease the brutal winter chill. This was Ice Age Europe, where temperatures often plunged far below freezing and food sources were sparse and difficult to access. Here, life wasn't just hard, it was a constant struggle, demanding strength and resilience from any creature that dared to call it home. The Neanderthals' bodies, shaped and hardened over thousands of years, evolved to suit this brutal environment. Unlike other human species that migrated to more temperate climates, the Neanderthals stayed, embracing the harshness of Ice Age Europe. Their bodies were compact, with thick bones and broad muscles, designed to retain warmth and withstand intense physical demands. Archaeologists today uncover the traces of their strength in the tools they crafted, the shelters they built, and most powerfully, in their very bones. These bones, denser and thicker than ours, are a testament to the intense physicality of their lives. Every aspect of their structure speaks to a people who didn't just endure hardship, they embodied the resilience of survival. In their every action, whether napping a stone tool, hunting massive animals, or simply enduring the cold Neanderthals showcased an extraordinary strength. They became a people of power, molded by the unforgiving elements around them. To survive here, strength wasn't a luxury, it was a necessity, a lifeline in an era where each day was a test of physical limits. They learned to use the land to their advantage, becoming experts in adapting to whatever nature threw at them. They tracked prey across vast distances, crafted shelters from bones and skins, and worked together in close-knit communities that reinforced their endurance. Their strength was more than muscle, it was a reflection of their adaptability, their ingenuity, and their determination to survive against the odds. We revish the extraordinary strength and power of the Neanderthals, breaking down the unique physical, behavioral, and environmental factors that made them some of the most resilient and formidable humans to ever walk the earth. From their ability to endure extreme climates to their unparalleled physical capabilities and hunting strategies, this section delves into how they survived and thrived in the brutal prehistoric world. Neanderthals were not just strong, they were built for survival in ways that seem almost superhuman by today's standards. In the face of Europe's Ice Age climates, they thrived evolving bodies perfectly adapted for endurance, resilience, and power. The Neanderthal physique was compact and muscular, with shorter limbs and thicker bones than modern humans. This structure provided both strength and stability, allowing them to conserve heat and brace themselves against the cold. But it also made them incredibly powerful, able to lift, carry, and withstand weights and pressures that would leave modern humans exhausted. Studies of Neanderthal skeletons reveal bones up to 20% thicker than those of Homo sapiens. These were not the bones of delicate beings, they were dense, strong, and reinforced by a lifetime of physical exertion. Every Neanderthal lived a life that required immense physical capability. Whether they were carrying heavy game back to camp or navigating treacherous terrain to survive in the harsh ice age, strength wasn't just an advantage, it was essential and the Neanderthals' bodies were sculpted by nature to withstand the relentless challenges of their environment. Neanderthal strength was honed not only by their environment, but by their prey. They lived in a world filled with giants, mammoths, woolly rhinos, and ancient bison. 
Unlike the small game hunted by many Homo sapiens, Neanderthals pursued animals that were massive, powerful, and often extremely dangerous. Hunting these giants required teamwork, strategy, and courage, but above all, it required strength. Neanderthals didn't have projectile weapons to bring down their prey from a distance. Instead, they wielded spears designed for close quarters combat, sometimes grappling with their prey face to face. This method demanded physical power and resilience beyond what most of us can think of. Each hunt was an intense, high-stakes encounter, requiring the full capacity of their physical power. A single hunt could mean injury or death, but it also meant survival for the group. To charge directly at an animal weighing several tons armed with only a spear was a feat that demanded both brute strength and unshakable will. These hunts didn't just require strength, they required unbreakable endurance and resilience. And as their bones show, the Neanderthals survived many encounters with these prehistoric giants, often healing from injuries that would incapacitate others, only to return to the hunt time and again. The Neanderthals' strength went beyond their muscles and bones. They possessed a kind of strength that extended into the very core of their being a resilience and endurance that allowed them to survive in environments few other species could tolerate. Life in the Ice Age was unforgiving. Temperatures plummeted, resources were scarce, and every day brought new physical and environmental threats. Yet Neanderthals lived, even thrived, in these conditions. How? Through bodies and minds trained to endure hardship. Neanderthals adapted by developing remarkable endurance to cold and physical exhaustion. Their metabolism was likely faster, helping them generate and retain heat, even in sub-zero temperatures. And their skin and circulatory systems may have evolved to withstand extreme cold, allowing them to hunt, forage, and travel in the open, often without the protective layers we rely on today. This adaptability wasn't just physical, it was psychological. The Neanderthals' lives were defined by hardship, yet they endured, likely driven by a strong sense of communal responsibility and survival instinct. To them, enduring the harshest conditions was simply a way of life. While Neanderthals were ultimately outlasted by the challenges of their world and competition with other species, their story remains a testament to the strength of the human spirit. A strength that lives on deep within us, a reminder of the resilience woven into our very DNA. When Neanderthals hunted, they hunted up close and personal. Unlike modern humans who kept their distance, Neanderthals closed in on their prey, armed with spears and knives, risking their lives at every step. Their preferred method was a harrowing face-to-face -face approach, where every move mattered, to charge a creature as immense as a mammoth or as dangerous as a wild boar required courage beyond measure. This was no distant attack, this was a battle of life and death, where a single misstep could mean the end. Their survival demanded not only brute strength, but skill, tactics, and unyielding resolve. Neanderthals weren't just hunters, they were warriors, masters of close quarters combat. They knew how to read the signs of their prey, anticipating its moves and reacting instantly, their instincts honed over a lifetime spent at the edge of survival. In each hunt, they confronted raw, unfiltered danger with a skill born from necessity and sharpened by experience. But the Neanderthal body tells a story beyond the thrill of the hunt. Their bones are etched with the marks of relentless struggle, intense trauma from clashes with prey and possibly each other, fractures in their arms, ribs, and skulls testify to repeated confrontations with forces far beyond human strength. Every injury reveals not only their immense physical strength, but something far more surprising their capacity for recovery. Many Neanderthals didn't just survive these brutal injuries, they often healed completely, a testament to their natural toughness. But how did they manage to survive such trauma? Evidence suggests they had help. These injuries hint at a deeper layer to Neanderthal life, one of cooperation, care, and communal responsibility. Recovery from these injuries would have required shelter, food, and time. This care extended to those unable to fend for themselves wasn't just survival, it was resilience rooted in solidarity. Neanderthals were part of close-knit communities, bound together by more than shared struggle. They were bound by empathy. Evidence of healed fractures and complex injuries tells us that these weren't solitary individuals, they were members of groups who relied on one another. 
particularly in times of need. This care wasn't a fleeting gesture. It was a commitment to each other, to survival together. They hunted as a group, healed as a group, and in many ways, thrived as a group. Such bonds were forged in the fires of shared hardships, creating an interdependence that may have been as vital as any weapon they wielded. These moments of care speak to something profoundly human and early form of empathy, and a willingness to protect those who could no longer protect themselves. In a world that demanded ruthless self-sufficiency, Neanderthals showed a surprising capacity for compassion. The Neanderthal skull holds an undeniable power. From its sheer size to the pronounced brow ridges and robust jawline, this skull was designed for survival in a world that demanded resilience. This thick, heavy brow ridge wasn't just for show. It provided crucial structural support, shielding their eyes and face from the elements and impacts encountered in daily life. And the wide, flaring nasal cavity wasn't an accident. In the frigid, windy climates they called home, these broad nasal passages warmed the air before it entered their lungs, allowing Neanderthals to breathe comfortably even in extreme cold. Their jaws were not only wider but more muscular, indicating a diet that involved considerable chewing effort. Unlike the softer diets we enjoy today, Neanderthals often ate raw meat and fibrous plants. Their strong jaws and large teeth were essential tools. Adapted to break down tougher foods in environments where cooked meals were a luxury, as the decades passed, the environments changed, so did our skulls. The modern human skull reflects a world where endurance and complex social interactions played a larger role, while our ancestors needed to protect themselves against physical threats. Modern humans evolved for advanced communication and cognitive challenges. These differences remind us of the separate evolutionary paths taken by each species, each adapting to distinct challenges and landscapes. For Neanderthals, their skull was more than a protector, it was a tool for survival in a world of relentless harshness. Neanderthals' lives demanded strength and unrelenting physical power. Their bodies tell us they were adapted for brute force, a strength cultivated by necessity. Their wide rib cages and barrel-shaped chests speak of an incredible lung capacity, crucial for intense physical exertion in cold environments. Their arms were not only muscular but shorter and thicker, ideal for close-range tasks like striking with a spear or carrying heavy objects. Every lift, every throw, and every strike they made required the endurance of muscles designed for sustained power. Their arms were, in effect, natural tools allowing them to work with materials and weapons modern humans would find difficult to handle without aid. While today's athletes may possess great strength, Neanderthal's upper bodies were not crafted for occasional physical feats, but for daily, relentless survival tasks. The shape and density of their bones reveal that every movement was more than an action, it was an adaptation honed over millennia. Neanderthals didn't just walk through their landscapes, they moved through them with a sense of stability and strength. Their legs were shorter, but with denser bones, built to absorb the shocks of traversing rugged terrain and to provide the necessary force to carry heavy loads. In comparison to modern humans, whose legs are optimized for long distance travel, Neanderthal's legs provided a firm base, allowing them to move through uneven landscapes and stand their ground against large prey. When they braced themselves for a kill or needed to anchor in during combat, their lower bodies provided unparalleled stability. At first glance, the Neanderthal hand seems like a tool built for raw power but a closer look reveals a delicate balance of strength and skill. Their hands were unique, capable of crushing grips, but also fine-tuned for detailed work. Neanderthal fingers were thick, their bones dense and strong. This strength wasn't just for wielding weapons, it also allowed them to manipulate tools with precision. Neanderthals carved, chipped, and crafted, creating tools that required an impressive level of control. Each finger joint was a marvel of design, striking a balance between durability and dexterity. Their hands were adaptable, equally suited for the forceful grip needed to carry heavy loads and the delicate touch required to shape stone tools. While modern humans eventually developed more refined fine motor skills for tasks like writing and drawing, Neanderthals honed their dexterity for survival-focused tasks that demanded strength without sacrificing control. Ultimately, these hands were symbols of survival, 
They were as much a product of their environment as any other feature a testament to the intelligence and adaptability of a species that lived, thrived, and created in a world without compromise. Though they vanished, the Neanderthals left an indelible mark on our history. Their strength, their resilience, their tenacity they endure, echoing through the ages. As we look to the future, the Neanderthals remind us that we too are a species built for survival, shaped by a legacy of strength and resilience. Hit that subscribe button now Neanderthals weren't just survivors they had deep, complex relationships too. From their interactions with each other to how their DNA reveals their intimate lives, what can we learn about their approach to love and connection? Press on the video now popping on your screen to see to dive into the untold story of Neanderthals' intimate lives. Watch now to uncover what their bonds tell us about our own. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and see you there.